Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. Sa video natin ngayon ang gagawin naman natin is on how to change improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. So, sa ating previous video ang ginawa natin is we defined what is improper fraction and mixed number. Pag sinabi natin improper fraction, sila yung mga fractions na kung saan yung value o yung numbers sa numerator ay mas mataas or greater than sa denominator. So, ano yung mga examples nun? Examples ng improper fractions ay 9 over 5, we have 3 over 2, and 15 over 4. These are the examples of improper fraction. E paano naman kapag mixed numbers? Dinefine natin sa ating unang lesson. Pag sinabi natin mixed numbers, sila yung combination ng whole number at ng fraction. So, bigyan ko yung examples about mixed numbers. So, first example natin is that we have 2 and 1 half. So, paano naging mixed number yan? We have here 2 as your whole number at yung 1 half naman ay yung ating fraction. Again, mixed numbers are combination of whole number and fraction. Another example na mabibigay ko about mixed numbers ay 5 and 2 over 7. Another example of mixed number is that we have 22 and 15 over 17. So yan yung mga may encounter nyo ngayon na fractions na meron tayo. So again, Let's do changing proper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. So, meron tayo ritong unang gagawin is we need to convert improper fractions to mixed number. So, ang direction natin dito, convert the following improper fractions to mixed number. So, i-elaborate natin yung mga steps natin at sana sa pangatlong example natin ay magkakaroon kayo ng time kung paano ito sagutan ng sarili nyo lang. So, let's start with item number 1. Meron tayo itong 16 over 3. Paano nga ba mag-convert ng improper fraction papunta sa isang mixed number? Una, i-divide nyo lang yung inyong numerator na 16 by your denominator na 3. Parang ganito lang. 16 divided by 3. So, 1 divided by 3 ay hindi pwede. And then, nagpusit tayo sa 2-digit number. 16 divided by 3 is 5. Then, multiply natin yung 5 by 3. Makakuha mo yung 15. Subtract natin. 16 minus 15. That will give you 1 as your remainder. So, ngayon, stop na tayo sa ating process. Again, divide lang natin yung ating numerator sa ating denominator. So, paano natin ngayon makukuha yung equivalent mixed number ng 16 over 3? So, based sa ating solution, yung ating quotient, which is 5, ito yung magiging, magiging whole number mo. So, ilagay mo dito 5. And then, yung iyong divisor na 3, siya ngayon yung magiging denominator ng iyong fraction. At yung remainder na meron ka, which is 1, that will be your numerator. Ibig sabihin, ang equivalent mixed number ng 16 over 3 is none other than 5 and 1 third. So, ganun lang kasimple. So, para mas ma-master niyo yung skill, let's move on to item number 2. Sa item number 2, meron tayong 25 divided by, ah, sorry, 25 over 23. So, again, ang unang step is you need to divide your numerator using your denominator. So, sulat natin dito. 25 divided by 23. So, mag-start na tayo. 2 divided by 23 cannot be. And then, puta tayo sa 2 digits, num two digits num two digit number. 25 divided by 23, meron tayong 1. Meron tayong isang 23 sa loob ng 25. And then, multiply natin. 1 times 23, that is 23. Subtract natin. 25 minus 23 is 2. So, meron tayo ngayong quotient. So, itong quotient natin na 1, ito yung magiging whole number mo. 
Tapos, yung iyong remainder na 2, ito ngayon yung iyong magiging numerator. So, ito yung magiging whole number. Ito yung iyong numerator. And yung divisor nyo to entry, this will be your denominator. Okay? So, yung equivalent mixed number ng ating given in proper fraction ay 1 and 2 over 23. So, nabito na tayo sa ating third example on how to convert improper fractions to mixed number. So, post, ko muna, post muna natin yung video and I will give you time para sagutan yung ating item number 3. Okay. I hope na enough na time natin para masolve nyo yung ano, yung ating given sa number 3. So, start ulit tayo. Divide your numerator 108 by your denominator which is 5. So, 5 divided by 1 or 1 divided by 5 cannot be. So, posit sa 2 digits. 10 divided by 5 that is 2. 2 divided by 10 uh, 2 times 5 that is 10. Subtract natin that is 0. So, bring down 8. And 8 divided by 5 that is 1 and 1 times 5, that will give you 5. Subtract natin, this is 3. So ngayon, ito na. This is your quotient. Ito yung magiging whole number mo, 21. Yung yung remainder na 3 is your numerator. At yung yung namang divisor will serve as your denominator. Ibig sabihin, Ang equivalent mixed number ng ating given improper fraction is 21 and 3 over 5. So, ganun lang simple kung paano mag-convert ang improper fraction to mixed number. Since tapos tayo sa pag-convert ng improper fraction to mixed number, ang gawin naman natin ngayon ay balik tayo natin proseso and let's convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. So, meron na ko rito inhandang tatlong examples wherein you need to change the following fractions to mix number. And, again, sa pangatlong part ng ating example, ay i-allow ko kayo na makapag-convert ng ating given example. So, let's start with item number 1. Meron tayo rito yung mixed number na 4 and 3 over 5. Reveal lang natin, this is your whole number, your numerator, and your denominator. So, paano nga ba mag-convert ng mixed number to improper fraction? Simple lang. Una, i-multiply mo ang yung denominator sa yung whole number. So, that is 4 times 5. Their product is equal to 20. Then after that, this product 20, ay i-add mo lang yung, yung numerator which is 3. And that will be 23. So, paano ngayon yan? Since meron kang 23, itong 23 na to, sa last part ng ating solution, ito yung magiging numerator mo. So, 23. At kukopyahin mo lang yung original denominator mo sa iyong given mixed number. So, the improper fraction of 4 and 3 over 5 is none other than 23 over 5. So, let's move on to item number 2. We have 6 and 5 over 12. First step, multiply your denominator to the whole number. So that is 12 times 6. 12 times 6 is equal to 72. Then after that, this product, 72, i-add mo yung numerator which is 5. So that is... 77. So, we are done. Ang gagawin mo lang ngayon, itong 77 na to, ay ilalagay mo bilang numerator ng iyong improper fraction. And then, copy yung original denominator from the mixed number, which is 12. And then, 
Ibig sabihin nito, ang answer natin is 7 to 7 over 12. So, I hope na natutunan yung process natin from example number 1 and number 2. And then, bigyan ko yung time kung paano sagutan yung number 3. So, post muna natin yung video natin. Okay. So, try natin sagutan yung item number 3. For item number 3, pipit lang natin process. Multiply natin yung 3 and 7. So, that is 3 times 7. Their product is equal to 21. Then after that, ang gagawin mo ngayon is yung 21 ay mag-add ka ng 2 galing sa iyong numerator. So, yan ngayon ay may sum na 23. So, ang magiging numerator ng iyong improper fraction is 23. Then, copy mo lang yung denominator ng iyong mixed number, which is 3. Ibig sabihin, ang equivalent improper fraction ng ating mixed number ay 23 over 3. So, uh, within our different given examples, kailangan natutunan nyo yung process on how to convert mixed number to improper fraction and from improper fraction to mixed number. Kasi yung mga concept na to ay, ay magagamit nyo sa different topics under ng fractions. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.